So I've now arrived at Tring Park Cricket Club, venue for this four day championship playoff final. Jack Beaumont, the Suffolk captain, can you first of all tell us the team news today? Yeah, so we've got Ben Clayton obviously out with injury from the last game and uh, Ben Parker unavailable. So we bring in Karen Young from Lincolnshire, obviously did really well there. And we also bring in Jacob Marston, who got 100 yesterday. And can you tell us the outcome of the toss? So the outcome of the toss was, we were, Suffolk actually won the toss and we decided to bowl this morning. Uh, slightly overcast conditions and a green wicket. So that's lunch on day one with Oxfordshire 114 for three and I would think they'd be slightly the happier of the two teams. Suffolk maybe didn't make the most of the conditions early on and only three wickets when they might well be in hoping for four or five. So that's tea on day one with Oxfordshire 233 for seven. So they've added 119 runs for the loss of four wickets this afternoon. Uh, too early going to Joe Gatting and a brilliant run out from Josh Cantrell. I'd say honours were pretty even in that session. 18 overs to go in the Oxfordshire innings. How many will they get or can Suffolk bowl them out? We'll find out. We heard a bad light stopped play, but here we've got bright light stopped play. The sun behind the bowler's arms means that they're waiting for it to disappear before resuming. Welcome to a gloriously sunny Tring Park Cricket Club for day two of the four day playoff. Suffolk resuming their innings on 57 for two with Darren Ironside and Alex Oxley, the not out batsman. Should be a good day's cricket in store. Let's enjoy. So that's lunch on day two here at Tring Park and as you can see from the scoreboard a pretty disastrous morning for Suffolk five wickets going down having start the day on 58 for two tea is now being taken early on day two with Suffolk having just been bowled out for 213 so that's a deficit of 35 runs largely thanks to the efforts of Josh Cantrell, Tom Rash and then Adam Mansfield. So here we are on day two just having a look round at the wicket. Stumps on day two 
sees Oxfordshire 115 for two, so that's a lead of 150 with eight wickets left. I guess you'd rather be in their shoes than Suffolk's, but things could change quickly tomorrow, particularly if Suffolk can get early wickets and put pressure on. So we look forward to day three. Ben Clayden, how disappointing is it for you to miss out on playing in this final? Uh, yeah, obviously, very disappointing. Uh, but I sort of, when the injury happened, I saw the physio on the Friday after I kind of knew then I had had no chance, so I kind of had a week to get my head around it. Uh, so, but yeah, still very disappointing. And but it's, it is nice to be here and support the lads and stuff. Uh, but would like to be out there playing. Weather's set fair again, it's going to be another very, very hot day, so uh, let's look forward to a good day of cricket. Lunch on day three at Tring and a great fight back by Suffolk this morning, taking four wickets for 80 runs so that the session ends with Oxfordshire 195 for six. So that's a lead of 230 with four wickets remaining. That turned into a disastrous last session for Suffolk losing three wickets while scoring just 13 runs to give them a mountain to climb tomorrow if they're going to rescue this game. Oxfordshire very much in the driving seat at the end of day three. about to get underway after lunch on the fourth and final day. Suffolk 106 for five, still requiring a stack of runs with only five wickets remaining. Jacob Masters played really well for his 49 not out and he's at the crease with Ben Shepherson. The Suffolk will look to take this game as deep as they can and see how things stand later on this afternoon. So Suffolk have been bowled out for 168 in their second innings, meaning that Oxfordshire have won by 178 runs. No one can deny that over the course of the four days they've been the better side, but credit to Suffolk for taking the game so deep and battling hard.